hi one welcome back to new video so in this video we'll try to fix one issue which normally uh, when the uh, when whenever the students or everyone who tries to learn a uh, spring boot for the first time so they'll get this kind of error which is port 8080 was already in use so this is very simple step or this is very simple fix which is we need to understand that's it's not an issue actually so just we have forgot something to do what is it is so it's very simple as you can see so it says 8080 was already in use all right so its server has not been started so how to fix this so just you click on this particular cross mark so the reason because you have not stopped the previous previous application means when you started the application for the first time so that was running over here so that you didn't stop so again you started running started the application again so that why you will get the uh, port number 8080 error so uh, let me show you again see application already been started so now i'll run this application again see so my application is getting started so let's say yes i'll just click on ok see again application is getting started now see in the console so now we'll get that error all right so now see guys so it's loading 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 again all right loading loading yeah it is executing all the statements see now we got port 8080 was already in use so that because we didn't stop this previous server so that's the reason so just you need to click on this cross mark and you need to stop the previous server that's all okay i'll close all of this now so if i start the application normally and now i won't get this particular issue okay so now uh, application started again clearly i'll click on ok now all right so application getting started and also in this particular video i'll show you how we <coughs> how we can able to change the port number as well suppose if you want to change the port number means how we can able to change the port number that also show in this video as well okay so uh, please stick on this video okay so as you can see application started without any error as you can see tomcat started on port number 8080 clear so let's stop the server again and also if you want to change the port number just you need to go for this application.properties file and you need to type something okay just type as so server dot port is equal to i'll mention as 5000 okay i am giving the port number as 5000 okay so i have saved my application as well so let me start my application now so my application is going to start in the port number 5000 okay i'll show you in the console itself okay so uh, in what is the one more uh, in the meantime uh, application gets started i'll tell you one more thing which is uh, when you are making your spring boot, uh, spring boot application or when you're building your spring boot application for the first time or when you're learning so you'll get uh, if you make any small changes again you need to save and restart the application save restart the application save restart the application so that will be very jig jig correct so there is one dependencies so using the dependency no need to uh, stop the server again rerun the application stop the server again rerun the application so no need to do like that okay so i'll show you one dependency so so please stick on to this video till the end so now as you can see so tomcat initialized with the port number 5000 clear so now you understand how we can able to change the port number as well clear yes so now i'm going to stop this server and i'm going to open pom.xml file so as i told that i'll be adding one dependency so what is that dependency so go to your browser so just open any of your browser favorite browser quickly okay all right so here what i need yes so my browser is getting open so i'll open a new tab over here okay so just search for spring initializer spring initializer okay so here we have spring initializer go for the first link all right so here no need to do anything over here just click on add dependency and search for spring dev tools so here we have spring developer tools and it shows as live reload we have a live reload over here so just click on this live reload and click on explore okay so we'll just copy in the dependency and we will build our project so here we have our dependency dev tools so copy this dependency till the dependency tag 
close in dependency tag so copy this go to your code again so here paste it in the dependency section make sure you paste it properly like this so now save your application and select your application click a right button over here and go for run as and go for maven install click on maven install so you have added a dependency right so you need to install the dependency in your application so it will take some time to install it so please have some time so please give some time to install that okay so as you can see at the bottom right sir your application is building okay so now you can able to see uh, some description will come in the console as of now it's loading it will take some time to install so just have some time okay so as you can see now in the screen build has been success so now build has been successful so now what we can do is we'll start our application okay we'll start our application quickly so like this so now i'll open any of the files so here i have already opened a uh, intern controller so wait uh, i'll wait for our application to get started so when the application gets started so i'll try to make some changes so instead of stopping the server we can able to see the live reload so no need of stopping application rerunning restarting the application stopping the server restarting the server it's not it's not necessary at all so with the help of dev build tools dependency it is going to work perfectly i'll show you now so application has been started over here with the port number 5000 because we just changed the port number as well so now as you can see i'll just add one function over here see concentrate over here so public void uh, test like this so now i'm going to save this function as you can see our application is get will be reloaded automatically see i didn't did anything it's been reloaded automatic automatically okay so now you can able to see live reload server is running on port number this one so reload is working so i'll just add one sysout over here in system.out.println okay like this sysout so hello hello okay so now i'll save my application just save my application you see in the console it is reloading automatically clear so this is what it is dev tools instead of stopping the server and running at again and again so this dev tool dependency is going to be your friend while developing and learning clear i hope you understand how we can able to fix that uh, application failed to start port number 8080 issue so it's very easy correct so uh, if you like this video and if your issue is solved please give a like button and if you're new to our channel just hit the subscribe button and in the next video we'll meet again so until then take care goodbye bye bye